Sanch, welcome to your monthly forecast for the month of April. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, some Sagittarius are actually trying to look for a new job or trying to find some source of income, you know, for a project that they are thinking about or that they want to get involved to. But unfortunately, there are some people who's been betraying you and also using you. So be very careful, especially that there is an air sign who is... Um, it's just um, trying to play around with you and trying to twirl you with their uh, fingers. Because uh, I feel like this person knows that, uh, you know, you'll do anything for them. So they are, you know, they're just trying to take advantage of you. Uh, also, I feel like if you're into sales, there are three people, three things, three opportunities or chances. That you're going to be missing out. And in the first week of April, it's going to be very difficult for you to come up with a quota. Or to make it up to your, you know, to your deadline. Okay, let's pull out some more clarifications for this. It looks like you are... Uh, you're going to be disappointing your boss. And... Well, this is not going to be very... Well, the first week will not be very favorable for you. But this month, there will be an overall, you know, uh, disappointments that you're going to be having when it comes to finances and career. You know, it's not that I don't see anything good for Sagittarius's, but it just turns out that it's always like that. Sometimes the cards are, you know, uh, showing a lot of good stuff about Sagittarius. But most of the time, you just need to watch your back. And instead of being so negative or, you know, not really accepting that there are some bad times that will be coming your way, why don't you just try and prepare for it and be open-minded? Now, you will be asking for help, you know, from an Earth sign. Which is, I feel like this person, you you know, every time that there is, every time that you're in trouble, you always run to this person. And whenever that things are really good, you forgot to, you know, you always forgot to even say thank you to this person. So now, this time, if you're going to be running into this person again, they are going to be saying something that which will also be opening up your eyes. They're going to be helping you. I'm not saying that they're not. But they will also be teaching you a lesson which you will be learning. If you're working for another fire sign or if you're working in a fire industry, you will have a hard time coping up, especially if you're in the IT field or in the IT industry. There will be a lot of crisis that you have to face and there are a lot of um, 
you know some people that will so sorry some companies that will be uh, laying off their their people and uh, will be re it's like they're going to be reorganizing everyone each department all people all staff and those people who's been staying in the department or in the in, in their company for a long period of time so that they don't have to pay that much benefits they're going to be you know laying them off so that they they can just cut off the the losses of the company and some um sagittarius your company will also be there will be a buyout process and the new company that will be taking over your company will not be taking over or will be not be absorbing some of the uh, staff that's been there for a long period of time so you need to prepare because the new company will be giving you one month to three months to move to a, to a new company okay and even though this is the case you will be feeling so irritated under a lot of stress feeling a lot of unhappiness and uh, worried or anxiety okay and you will start thinking more of way more ways on how to earn money get money how to do a side work side job or do some you know do some tr uh um, side jobs that you can do or mm, more likely some some business some businesses on the side or online jobs but the IT industry this year won't be doing good much okay especially in the city that starts with letter C I just I feel like they're also a very big uh, city okay Now, also, when it comes to your work, there is someone who is an air sign that's been um, betraying you or that will be betraying you. And I feel like this person knows that you're ready to please them. You're ready to give whatever it takes or you, that you are ready to, you know, do something just to appease them. But the thing here is this person... It's only after whatever they can get from you, and they are going to be betraying you. They're going to, you know, it's like they're going to let you down. The good thing here is you will know who this person is, and you will, um, you know, be a few steps ahead of this person, and you will um, prevent it from happening. You'll rise to the occasion, and there will be a victory that's going to be upcoming. You'll be very happy, but these are all temporary, okay? Um, so here's the thing, okay? There is a chance or there will be like a moment that's going to be coming your way and the major communication that will also be, you know, um, that will also be coming your way. But then the problem here is whatever victory that will be occurring, let's say, for example, in the first week or the second week, it's just going to jump into the, the following week and there will be some disappointments that's going to be coming your way. Which is, you need some sort of a protection for you to keep on incurring this because there are a lot of people who will be taking advantage of you and who will try to dissuade you, okay? Especially air sign people. Be very careful about this. And you've already had some rift. You've already had some problems. You've already had some, you know, some um, uh, gaps in the past uh, because of some office politics or because of some work-related uh, tension, okay and let's take a look at your love life well you're trying to make a decision about this person that you're with which is you feel like this is your real soulmate however you are going through a phase right now uh, you're also trying to make a decision as to where your life should go and you don't know actually you know where the, where life is trying to provoke you or trying to direct you be very careful in making any brand new beginnings or making any harsh decisions or rushing into any decision that you that you're not gonna be studying first all you want right now is to make some cro uh, progress and create your own milestone or you know and um create your own path but somehow wherever you go which direction you, you face there's always an obstacle that comes your way and because of this you are starting to feel so weary dreary and uh, 
feeling so alone, okay? And you're th you're starting to think some things from the past that y who you who you used to be and what you used to do. And there will be some, you know, some back and forth and um, what do you call this? Like the two of you will be combating towards one another and uh, like who's the boss, like who's earning who and who's doing what, you know. And you just need to learn how to balance. You need to heal because I feel like your hurt and pain is coming from something else and not from this relationship. And you're jeopardizing your relationship because of that hurt or because of that memory from the past that you're so unable to confront and heal yourself. You may ask um, help from that person that you're with because I feel like I feel like they are the only one who can help you, especially if this is your real soulmate. And you don't really need to keep things inside of you. You will be keeping a travel a secret just for you to create some changes into your life. And you are so ready to make that brand new beginning and you think that this is really the right thing for you to do or this is the right thing for you to make or say. <laughs> there will be an empty victory. Yet somehow with that, you know, with that um, harsh decision or rush decision that you're going to be making, it will just entail you into more strife and struggling. Okay. Now, when it comes to your sex life, you feel so dried up and stagnated. And you're waiting for somebody who will just, you know, like... Well you know, jump the boat and uh, do, you know, like, uh, try to... It's like you're just waiting for somebody to save you from this, from dryness, okay? And, um... You've had some grave past, or you've had some dark, um, childhood past, okay? And because of this, it, it's been affecting you psychologically, okay? You used to be happy and you used to be okay until that something has changed between the two of you or you're the one who's changed. And it also affected the, the feelings of your partner and now the two of you are being stagnated. And you're, it's like you're just keeping more and more you know, distance from each other. And even if it's in your mind, you've been, you've been thinking about having an affair or you've been thinking about having someone else or being a part of, a, you know, like, a, you know, like a wild illusion. And uh, unfortunately, someone will be coming your way to seduce you and you will be getting involved with somebody who is ruthless and will only be taking advantage of you. And unfortunately, you're going to get caught. Okay will obviously result into separation. Now, when it comes to your health, well, there's nothing actually wrong with you except that you're, you know, you're starting to rebuild your your health, you're, you're starting to rebuild your, you know, your, your usual regime and being so conscious about how you look like, your body and everything. But you're already infected with parasites. If you are already experiencing a few weird things, especially being so lethargic, some of your veins are starting to, you know, to feel like it's throbbing, it's you're always in pain, or you can't stand up sometimes, or you feel like vomiting, you feel so nauseous and stuff like that. It is because of the um, parasites that's already consuming your organs. You need to go and check out with the doctor how to remove this. You will also be so conscious about your weight and about your body, but then your blood, um, your blood pressure and your blood supply will also be affected. I feel like you will also be careful in blood infection for the next two to three weeks. Okay. Now, when it comes to your oracle cards, messenger of action, something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life, or maybe you, who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life, and who wants to try everything. Three of thought, loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time, and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been from your spiritual growth. 
Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. Six of thought, peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed and now you can see that your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take journey over water or to another country. Anyway, that's it for you for this month, Sagittarius. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.